Hey guys, how's it going? Chris here with uh, LegendBrush.com. Gonna do a quick uh, name painting demonstration for you guys while doing, um, you know, talking a little bit about uh, my business and my life and how I learned and stuff. So right now I'm just stirring my paints. Um, each time before I do name painting, it takes me about five to ten minutes to do this prep work. I just finished one painting and now I'm starting another one. This party I'll probably do Avengers and for characters I'll probably do princesses, which you will see in a bit. Alright. Um, let's start off with Captain America. Seems fun. Okay, so frequently asked question is, what kind of paints do I use? Um, it's uh, tempera, and um, tempera, it's a mixture of tempera and Higgins ink. So you can't buy it in, I mean you can buy the separate components in stores, but it's kind of like a recipe, you have to mix it yourself, and that's why it takes me, you know, uh, 5 to 10 minutes each time to prepare and stuff. Before I used to like to do Captain America without uh, with his helmet on, but um, I don't know in like the recent movies I think it looks cool when you can see his face and stuff. I, I think it looks more like Chris Evans in the character, so I think that's really fun. One thing that's important when you're doing name painting is to do the same colors at the same time. So right now I'm doing color red, so I try to do all the red at the same time. This makes things much more efficient. I think one, one issue that I have and that I'm also like kind of working on is when you are doing these superheroes, how to make them look kind of strong and buff. You know, I, I think that's something that's somewhat difficult. I think it's all right. P, it's going to be A, R, T, and Y. For A, I'm going to go ahead and do, you know what would be cool? Batman. I'll mix it up a little bit. So they didn't request specifically what characters, um, so I'm just going to mix it up for them. Um, when I was working at Disneyland, um, we tried to not let people request characters because that would mean that it, it takes longer, you know? Wow, what's going on? The freak? I haven't painted in a long time. Okay, let's see. I usually will plan things out and stuff, but um, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit more today, so with, that's why I'm kind of going with the flow. Usually my customers on Etsy, they tell me what they want, and uh, actually I kind of like that, um, because it's like I, I don't have to think as much, and it's like a collaboration between me and the client. 
which I think is pretty cool. I guess that's something that makes me different from other artists. Usually, if you go to like Santa Monica or something like that, they don't really let you choose the characters. It, it really pisses off the artist. They, they want you to kind of give them free reign and let the artist do whatever they want. But for me, um, I'm different from other artists because I like to give people what they want, uh, kind of cater to the audience. Um, yeah. That's just kind of my personality. A lot of artists don't like doing that. I also think customer service is really important. Um, back when I was working at Disneyland, what was the most important thing was getting through, like, sometimes you have 60,000 people in the park, you know, on a given day. And speed is really important. Because if you're telling a bunch of customers they want to get one and you don't have enough time to do it, then, you know, it sucks for them because they really want to get one. Um, but because I'm able, I have less customers because I do this on my online store, I'm more able to take my time. I charge a little bit more, and um, but I think the quality is is it shows too, you know? I mean like some t I mean like not saying like the Disneyland quality is bad. Like some of it's really good. But I would say during times when they're really busy, uh, you know, they they need to speed up a little bit. P A R. Um let's see, what should I do now? T Y. You know what'd be fun? The Hulk. The Hulk. And then I'll do Iron Man and then I'll do Spider Man. I think the colors will look good like this. So I'm also thinking about colors. I want so I have blue, I have black, now I want green. You know, I want there to be a variety of colors in this. Not just because a lot of superheroes are just black and blue. Black and blue or yellow. Like Spider-Man and Captain America, they're like the same colors. I like this one. Um, you can see that um, I'm using I'm using leather, right? Using leather, and what that allows me to do. Do you see how there's so much definition on the Hulk characters? How there's like so much texture and stuff. That's what leather does that you can't get with like a regular paintbrush. Um, what material did they use at Disneyland? I believe they used some kind of synthetic belt material. And so it feels a little bit different. Their stuff is a little softer and it wears out quicker. This leather, it almost never wears out. Um, it's much more durable. And it's just vegetable hide leather. You can get from like the bottom of your shoe or the belt or something like that. You know, it's regular, really regular stuff. Party. Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? Huh. Do I want to do purple or do I want to do green? Do something like this. Right now, Hulk is naked. <laughs> This yellow kind of explosion thing adds a bit of color because wherever Hulk goes, you know, there's like explosions and stuff. So I'm doing that. I think it looks cool. And you know, I, I know it looks like I'm improvising this, but I've experimented with these characters for a long amount of time. So I kind of know what looks good and what doesn't look good uh, just through a lot of trial and error. 
So it may seem like, oh man, how does he know what he's doing? But, you know, I've done a lot of experiments and stuff. And that's why I know what works and what doesn't work. And if you were to do this yourself, you'll probably find your own style of what you like and what works and what doesn't work. Um, now I am offering a course, uh, just on like the basic stuff. Um, I have a, like a Facebook group too, where like students can post homework, but for some reason students haven't been posting any homework. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to encourage them to post. It's intimidating though, you know, like because when you first start off, you really suck. Like it, your stuff looks really bad. Like it looks easy, but it's name painting is really really hard. And when you first start, you really suck. So I, I try not to market so much as like, oh, name painting is super easy to do. No, I, I don't think so. Like, a lot of people who have a lot of experience, they think they can pick it up like, like one, two, three. It's it's very hard. Don't do yellow. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm choosing to do Iron Man in the T. Each each letter kind of offers like a different opportunity to integrate the character into their um, into their element. For example, by doing T, I can make the Iron Man seem like he's flying. You know, it would be very cool. And I I think one other thing to notice is when you're doing the the superheroes versus like the princesses. You want to make the arms and the chest a lot bigger. Like if you look up Disney Infinity Toys or uh, Pop Toys or like the toys, right? You can see that, you know, uh, uh, the torso and like the arms are much more exaggerated. Like um, you can't really rely on just muscle definition because it's simplified. You know, you have to be very graphic with their stuff. You can't just say like, oh, I'm going to try to draw a bunch of muscles. You know, it doesn't work that way. You have to get a really good graphic read. Um, because name painting is really a, a graphic form. How's my camera doing? I hope it's still recording. Sometimes my camera turns off and stuff. It's, that really pisses me off. Party. Okay, let's do Spider-Man. So Spider-Man is going to be pretty cool because I'm going to actually have him swinging on the web because the letter Y is slanted, right? So I have this opportunity to do that. Um, something you may be asking is, do I, like, draw? Uh, what is it called? Shoot. Spider-Man's tricky. Because, sometimes, I forget how his costume works. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think that it's like that. See, it's not like it, it's kind of weird, you know, because like and you know, like teaching this and kind of showing people this, it's kind of like um, it's really risky. Because a lot of name painters, they don't, they don't teach this stuff because they don't want people to steal their business. Um, and, of course, definitely I want to make money through my class and stuff. And maybe I will lose profits. But I look at it this way. 
um, you know, it's not a theory that at any moment that one's life could end, you know. And I do want to help others in a way that I can. And, um, you know, I, I feel like if this was something I always ask myself is, what if today was the last day on earth? You know, what would you do? What would you do? You know? So, yeah. I, I would want to help people who, who want to learn this. I think it would be cool. It's like kind of leaving a legacy. I have this opportunity because I know video editing and Photoshop and whatever. And, uh, yeah, I can help people who really want to learn this. And, uh, yeah, they can make money, too. All right, so it's this party. You guys see that? I'm going to put some sparkles on here. So basically, um, Party Characters is a company uh, based in Orange County. And basically what they do is they have, they're like a mascot princess service company. 